God bless you and thank you for tuning in to another Decision Time broadcast. Truly, God is good to us. I know you must agree. In spite of what may be going on in your life, God is good. And so we're thankful for another opportunity to share the Word of God with you. My name is Elder Ernest Dunn, and I'm just here for a brief moment to introduce our speaker, which on today is our pastor, Bishop Roosevelt Dunn. He comes with a reminder once again about the second coming of Christ. I encourage you not to change that dial because the Word of God is up next. The second coming of God is near. Someone read Philippians chapter 4 verse 5. The second coming is timing. It's getting closer. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Matthew chapter 24, 27. My reader back here, let him read. For as the lightning cometh out of the east. As the lightning. It's been lightning quite often here. All you do is see a light and hear thunder. Where there's thunder, there's lightning. Where there's lightning, there's thunder. All right, read, read, read. And shineth even unto the west. Uh huh. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man. The coming of the Son of Man. You don't know when he's coming. I don't know when he's coming. Even Jesus himself don't know. Only the Father. Why I said this? Get yourself ready. Stay ready. Oh, yes. Stay ready. For heaven is the best place in the world anywhere. Yes, Lord. New Jerusalem, where there's no darkness, where there's no thieves. That's where you want to go. New Jerusalem. So you don't want to lose out by playing church. Right, that's it. You don't want to uh, lose out by doing it your way. Amen. Be faithful. Make sacrifices. Yes, we don't make enough sacrifices. We don't. Yes. We find other things to do when we should be at church. Yes, we find other things to do when we should be in prayer. Jesus have paid the price. And his uh, reward when we do what's right. Don't do anything to prove anything for anybody. Amen. Who cares about what folks think? I don't. Amen. What they said, I don't. That's right. Love everybody. Love your enemy. Amen. Every once in a while, a pastor has to go through this process yes, because some folks forget. And God let a pastor that pray, a pastor that is concerned, know when to do what. Amen. Amen. Work him up at night. Can't sleep. What was wrong? With that memo. God tell the pastor about the memos. We used to have some got the four court go to the four cross and club and and dance. They thought they were James Brown. The devil will Deceive you. Yes. He come to steal, kill, and destroy. 
Jesus said, I am come that you, that you might have life in that more abundantly. Don't talk about things that you shouldn't talk about. Some people don't know that. They just talk about other folks' business. They want to know everybody's business. It's, Jesus is soon to come. The signs is in the sky. The weakness is on the blackboard. Folks killing, folks stealing. You want to stay clean and not mean. Husband can't be mean to their wife. Wives can't be mean to their husband. You got to pay for that. You better love each other. Better love each other. All right, second coming is timing. It's timing. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. That's right. That day and hour knoweth no man. Amen. No, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. That's what the Bible said. The Lord that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. Thank you. you look up one day and you see the sky on fire. What you gonna do? You can't call the fireman. Cause he running. He running. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him in an hour that he is not aware. Not aware. Mark chapter 13, I believe, in 30, the 32nd verse. Read that. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man. Of that day, neither that hour knoweth no man, not the angels which are in heaven, neither son, but the Father only. You won't know it, I won't know it, no man won't know it. You have a Surprise. Coming to take you up. And if you're saved, if you baptize with the Holy Ghost, if you write in your spirit, if you if if you if you love the enemy, love everybody, you got a right to go to heaven if you have lived holy and obey God. It's nothing like obeying God. It's nothing like doing the will of God. Amen. You don't have to pull, we don't have to put on no show to feel good, to have peace, to have joy, to be blessed by God. You don't have to all do all of that. Just live saved and that God will bless you like you've never been blessed before. I never want it for anything. Because I'm going to obey God. Everything that I went, started to do, God stopped me from doing it. I went to college. I looked out the window one day, and I saw a bird hopping up. He was dying. And God spoke to me and said, if you don't get out of this college, this school, now that was me, I have nothing to do with you. He was talking to me. Yes. You don't get out, so you're going to be like that bird. Well, make it plain. well, I saw the bird dying. 
He done told me that I'd be like the bird. I knew I would be dying. You think I didn't get right? When he told me to leave California and my wife the witness. Yeah. He said, up out of this place, it's polluted, and it shall be your death. And after even God telling me that, I stayed there a whole year. I stayed there. God is able to take care of you. And the more you love God, the more you honor God, the more you uh, obey God, the more God will bless you. I learned that from experience. You don't have, nobody has to put on no show. Because we're not proving anything from God. We're not proving anything to, to God. I, I, I denied myself a lot of things just to obey God. And God blessed me, and I'm not boasting. Anything that I wanted, anything that I asked. Because I prayed in secret. And he rewarded me openly, just like he said. Don't worry about what's going on around you. Don't let the devil put stuff in your spirit. Don't let the devil put lust in your mind. Mm -hmm. Let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. Stay alert at all times. Let the joy of the Lord be in your spirit. Thank you, Lord. Don't get mixed up and confused about life. Oh. Don't worry about all the things you want. You're not going to get them all at once, at one time. No way. Amen. This is a patient life. Yeah. One thing about living holy is take patience. Yes. Patience. I don't care how you look at it. That was, the one, that was the one thing I had a problem with. I want, when I prayed, I wanted it then. Wow. In your patience, it, it, what? All right, Luke 12, 40. Be therefore ready. Look at somebody and say, be ready. Be ready. Be ready, be therefore ready also for the Son of Man coming in an hour when you think not. He ain't going to send you no telegram. Amen. He ain't going to send you no letter. On, he ain't going to call you. He comes an hour and you think not. People are dying fast around here. You don't know. Be ready. Be ready. Look at somebody and tell them to be ready. Be ready. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him. I want to gather unto Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want to be ready when he comes into my eyesight. Yes. I want to raise my hand and say, thank God you made it. Thank oh, God. God. Oh, yes. And you know what else I want to say? Thank God I'm ready. Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm ready to go back to I'm ready to go to New Jerusalem where there is no thief where the doors and the gates to New Jerusalem don't need to be locked don't need to be closed 
You don't need no light. Amen. For the glory of Jesus himself is light. Yes. He's able to take care of your church. Yes. But you got to do it down here. Yes. You can't wait till you see him saying, I'm going to run, I'm going to run and make a reservation. You can't make no reservation. You can't even enter into heaven except you're born again. Love God. Obey God. Do the right thing. You don't have to worry about God the way all the God have already made the way. Amen. Through Jesus. He shed his blood. We're justified from all things. Whereby we could not be justified by the things of the world. We justified. See the devil will tempt you. Yes, yes. I've been tempted many times by the devil, but I told the devil I'm no fool. I know how I used to live. When I was living for you, devil. I don't want to live for you twice. That joy that God put in my heart. Oh Lord. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Yes, yes. When I had problems, mm -hmm. God answered oh, yes. my problem. You don't see me jumping and going on. You don't see me jumping and going on and trying to prove something to somebody. You know, be cool. <laughs> Just be cool. Wait on the Lord. Don't you know you can be cool, say, by minding your business? Say it. Say it. Yes, sir. That's right. You can be cool, say, by minding your business. By not trying to run the other man's business. By, by not trying to know everything about somebody. Forget about that all that stuff. I done had my good times when I was a sinner. My, my, my. I, I drank a lot of wine. Real. I drank a lot of wine. Somebody. Wake up the next morning in somebody's driveway so drunk with wine. <laughs> I know what it's like. That's why I can say what I'm saying. Come on, Pastor. <laughs> I was on my job one day downtown Los Angeles and it seemed like it was going to rain. And I said, if somebody asked me to go to church, I'm going. Yes. Mm. And my mother the next day, why don't you come go to church? Where did you go? Me, Sister Dunn, we went. Okay. And they put out them chairs. <laughs> and I know what they put them out for. Oh, yeah. To call us up so they could pray for us. Yeah. And them saints gathered around us. Yeah, and they was hollering and spitting. And <laughs> <laughs> See, some of us, when we praying for folks that put in their faith and hollering like that, we don't know what we're doing. Now, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just trying to let you know what reality really is. Yeah. Happened, somebody. yeah. Revelation. Revelation 16 and 5. Read that. And I heard the angel of the water say, Thou art righteous, O Lord. Uh-huh which are and was and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. Uh-huh. Oh, had, go ahead, go ahead. For thou shed the blood of saints and prophets, yeah. and thou hast given them blood to drink. 
for they are worthy. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. True and righteous. True in righteousness. Read Hebrew 9.28. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many. And unto them... Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many. And unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Yes. He won't be coming to save anybody. He'll be coming to get those that are already saved. Yes, already. And it'll be so many that's not saved. So many. Could be your wife, could be your husband, could you be your cousin, could be your friend. But whatever happened, don't you be lost. Because you hear the word. Young people, you're not exempt. You're not exempt from hell. You're not exempt. But God is able to lift you up. God is able to give you joy and peace. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. God is able. When you do wrong, ask for forgiveness. I'm not saying that we don't do wrong. That's why you can be forgiven if you ask God. He's able. Oh, yes, he is. Thank you, Lord. All right. All right. What's the next one? 2 Peter 3.10 But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. As a thief in the night. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, don't let it slip up on you now. As a thief in the night. You might be in a nightclub dancing. Mm. If you were a sinner. The day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night while you sleep. All right, read, read. In the which the heavens shall pass away. Which the heavens. Which the heavens shall pass away. You didn't know that. All right, read on. With a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Burn up. You'll find cars sitting out there. Burn up. You'll find the house that you have. Burn up. All the clothes that you have. Burn up. Your friends. Burn up. You, you think this is it's funny? It's not. This is true and it's soon to come. That's why I'm teaching it. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. Your money in the bank won't help you. Your attorney, your lawyer won't help you. Your friend next door won't help you. They're going to be running. Trying to outrun you. If you're a sinner, if you're a sinner, I'm not, I'm not talking about a church goer. I'm talking about a saint now. You got to be a saint, holy. You know what the Bible said? Because I'm be he holy, because I'm holy. I wouldn't go back into the world for nothing. Amen. As much stuff as I did when I was a sinner, right. and some of it was good, because I didn't know nothing else. Right. The works of the flesh. Yes, sir. 
the works, the works of the flesh. All right, I got a couple more verses, and I'm going to, I'm going to, the second coming purpose, Matthew 16, 27, I'm going to give you Matthew 25, 20, 31, then I'm, 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 I'm shutting down. I just Matthew 16 and 27. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels. Uh -huh. And then shall he reward every man according to his works. According to his works. According to his works. What was it? Matthew 25 and 31. Okay. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory. He shall come in his glory. And you know his glory is going to be so bright. His glory. Thank you. Thank you. His glory. Hallelujah. All right, read. Finish reading that. And all the holy angels with him. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. God bless you. God bless you. You've heard the word as I have, and I don't know about you, but anytime you hear the word over and over, it takes on a different meaning and it, it sets something different in your heart and before you. And so that's what this message meant to me. When I hear about the second coming of Christ, I've heard it before. I've heard it uh, preached in many different ways, but this particular time, it took on a different meaning. How about you? Because the word never gets old. You may have heard something years ago. You heard it last week. You heard it um, some time ago. But whenever you hear it, it takes on a new meaning. That's how powerful the word of God is. And so that being said, you can hear this again on our website. Um, at www.israelitekojic.org or on our YouTube channel, Decision Time Enterprises. Listen, we want to thank you for being such a faithful listener to this broadcast. And until next week, in the words of our pastor, remember, you have a miracle in your mouth.